and welcome to my channel. I am Crystal Ann Compton, and I'm excited to be here with you today as we approach the end of 2022 and before it clicks over to 2023. I wanted to talk to you because I think that, and I've heard directly from people, that there is a lot of fear about what's coming. Like when you look out onto the screen of our life and all of the things that are happening, I will admit this looks chaotic. Are we in a prison planet? <laughs> What's going on here? Wars, rumors of wars, um, economic disparity just across the globe, political problems, propaganda, housing market, interest rates, recession, like all of the things that we are hearing about, we've been hearing about in 2022. They're kind of getting up to this fever pitch. And I feel like a lot of people are feeling that. And I think when people feel the acute nature of that, a lot of people just kind of close down. They hunker down. Some people get depressed. Some people drop out of society. And when we get into that energetic disposition of being super hunkered down, we are not really moving expansively in the creativity that exists inside of us. And I don't mean like painting is creative. It is. I'm talking about we're creators. We actually came into this life exactly as at this time to create for ourselves and for others. But when there's so much being signaled to us that is sometimes, frankly, terrifying, it is hard to get into the energetic disposition of that expansive creator that I am and that you are. And so I wanted to just talk to that. I want to speak to that. Because I think that more and more, there is a separation for people, separation between their inner world and their inner life, which they cultivate and grow through practices and disciplines and reaffirming to themselves that which is true. The Bible says, think on these things that are lovely, think on these things that are good. And so people are reaffirming that which is true. And in doing so, and in cultivating this inner world, they feel more separate than ever to this uh, to this appearance of the outer world, the 3D world. It's not that they're not connected and that they're not here, but they're not attached. They're not necessarily attached to that outer world or what's happening on the screen of our lives. Conversely, you have people who are really attached. They are immersed in everything that's going on. They are reacting to it, which by the way, when you react to what's happening in your life, on the smallest level and on the largest level, you then co-create that. When you react in fear, anxiety, suffering, pain, anger, rage, fury, now you're contributing to the thought pattern, the energetic pattern of that thing that you're reacting to in the first place. And I think there are so many people, spiritual people too, that are reacting and immersed in what's showing up on the screen of our life. And of course, Neville Goddard, he's the one who said, everything is you pushed out. He is the one who said that that which is showing up on your screen of life is not the cause of how you feel about yourself. It's the effect. Let me say that again. What's showing up on the screen of your life is not the cause of how you feel about yourself and your world and your life. It is the effect. The effect of what? Well, the effect of that inner world that I was just speaking about. The inner world consists of your inner identity, who you feel and know yourself to be. And if you feel and know yourself to be like a victim to the whirlwind of this life, then you're going to outpicture that. You're going to outpicture that day in and day out, and you're going to contribute to it. And so it's about changing your inner orientation and aligning with that which you truly are, which is God's spark, which is God's creation, which is child of God, which is I am that I am a soul who came here to have an adventure and here I am, but I'm a soul. I am an oversoul. I'm a higher self. I am the crystalline Compton that stands behind the consciousness in the incarnation. That's who I am. Let me orient from there, cultivate my inner world. And now what's showing up on the screen of my life is beginning to change. The Kybalion would call this the law of correspondence or the plane of correspondence as above, so below, as within, so without. So I want to invite everybody, especially as we're ticking out of 2022, to start doing that necessary reflection and introspection. Take an inventory of what's happening in your life and then take some 
radical responsibility, looking inward to find what might be out of alignment in your belief systems, your feelings about yourself and about your sister and your brother on this planet, your feelings about the future. Do you have any hope? What's happening inside of the inner world? We need to bring that in alignment with who it is that you truly are and what it is you are actually connected to, which is the all that is, which is God. That's who you're connected to. We want to orient from that. That's how we change what's happening in the world. And if we all do it, could you even imagine? Even just the viewers of this video over time, like, can you imagine if we all made a practice of doing that? We would shift things pretty quickly. At the same time, I want to acknowledge how intense, how intense the signaling is, how intense that screen of life is. It's a lot. It's hard to stay intentional and not fall or drop off into that reaction. I want to acknowledge that and honor that. You're a human. You know, as a soul, you came in, you knew you were going to get a form of amnesia. You knew you're going to get caught up in the Maya of it all or the illusion of it all. And so we're not judging anybody out here. I fall, I click out of alignment all the time. I fall prey to the illusion as well. I find myself in states of reaction, but I use those reactions as invitations to get back into alignment. Those reactions and my emotions, that's my GPS system. That helps me to get back into alignment with the I am that I am, but it can be difficult and it does take practice and you're okay exactly as you are. Just be mindful. Let's be mindful as we click over from 2022 into 2023. Let's be thinking about how we're thinking and feeling about ourselves and others. And now for 2023, I want to tell you that there is a reason humanity came up with the idea of New Year's resolutions because we know innately as human beings, that there's something special about this time. Any time of transition, whether that's morning ticking over to evening or one season into another, any time there's that space of transition, we call this a liminal time or a liminal space. And as humans, we know that when things are liminal, or transitioning, the energies are transitioning, the veil, if you will, between ourselves and spirit, it's thinner. The veil is thinner. Now, that doesn't mean we start to see ghosts and stuff, although it can. <laughs> but what it really means is that the world of spirit and the infrastructure of the universe is more accessible to us, which is why we have that impulse to get more intentional around this time, because we know innately that there is an acceleration that takes place around the time that one year clicks over into the new year. And I want us to all vibe with that idea. It's not an idea, it's the truth. That's what's happening right now. And I think we need to get out of our own way and start to get super intentional about what we want to manifest for 2023. And despite all the prognosticators and what they're saying about what's going to happen with wars and rumors of wars and all of the things that are happening on the planet, despite that, I need you and I need me to get very solid in who it is that we really are and then intentional about our vision for our life. You know, the Bible says a people perish for a lack of vision. A people perish for a lack of vision. Without a vision, how do you know where you're going to go? How do you know what you really want? You've got to actually decide and choose upon what it is you want to create and manifest before you can do it. Now is the time to do that. Now is the time to do that. 2023, despite the screen of our life, can be a very magical year for us. We can work with the energies on the planet that are exhibiting themselves right now. Even though some of those are challenging energies, we can actually work with them. And in working with them, co-create new outcomes, higher outcomes, blessed outcomes for ourselves and others. So if you haven't started thinking about what you want to manifest, if you haven't started thinking about your vision, I would like to invite you to begin to do that because truly over the next four weeks and a little bit beyond the energy, the liminality, the acceleration, the amplification is very present. And when you've anchored an intention and you've matched a feeling of, I am already that, I have already that, when you have the feeling and the vision, boom, and you do it around this time of the year, the manifestation is called into the experience with a quickness, ooh, with a quickness 
You know, Neville gave that lecture, order, then wait. That's what it's called, order, then wait. And that is what we have to do in third dimensional reality. We order what we want to manifest and then we got to wait for it because time exists in this reality. But when you do things in that beautiful liminal space, when you optimize the energies that are offering themselves, you can greatly diminish the weight. You can greatly diminish the weight. It comes much, much faster. And with the manifestation that comes is the affirmation that manifestation works, which is really just an affirmation that you are the manifester, that you are the creator, that you are powerful, and also the realization that while using the new year energy is awesome, you can create at any time, which leads to the realization that you're already creating all the time. You're creating right now. And that leads to the question, what do you want to create? What next? What is your highest excitement, as Bashar says? What are you so excited about? If you could dare to be excited and hopeful for something in your life, a person, a condition, a new job, if you could dare to be excited, what is it? Come on now. We've all got something. Hook into that. Connect with that. Intend for that. Call in the manifestation of that using this beautiful time. And don't worry. Don't worry about 2023. I'm not here to give you an intuitive reading about 2023. I'm not here to like speak to the illusion because I seek to detach from the illusion and I encourage you to do the same. Instead, let's cultivate that inner world and let's get intentional. Let me close this impromptu discussion by mentioning that next, is it next week? Uh, It's two days before the New Year's. So I want to say that's the 30th of December. I'm dropping a video. I'll remind you about it next week because I have another video coming out, but I'm dropping a video in which I am proposing that we all enter into a 30-day manifestation ritual. Now, all these marketers like to call it chalice. Do a 30-day challenge, 30-day exercise, but that sounds hard to me. It's a ritual. I am inviting people to enter into a 30-day magical ritual. Super simple, of course, totally free. It's something I'm doing and I want to do it with other people because I know that when I do it with other people, it's elevated and amplified. And again, things come with a quickness. And in my mind and in my heart, I can see hundreds or thousands of us entering into this 30-day manifestation ritual and the amplification being miraculous, the quickness being miraculous. So if you can spend the next week or two thinking about your vision, thinking about what you want to manifest, and then join me on the 30th on the YouTube channel. There'll be a video waiting like right at midnight, I think. Learn what the ritual is and then join me for the month of January. Let's do it together. Let's use the liminality together. Let's co-create. We are the manifestors. Let's do it together. I'm super excited and I want to do it with you. All right. Until then and until next time, let me close by saying that I want you to never forget that I have got nothing but love for you. Bye guys.